हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानाजनाशा ಚಕ್ಷುರುಂಮಿಲಿತೀಗುರುವೇಮಹಿಚೈತನ್ಯಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟಂಸ್ಥಾಪಿತೇನೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪದಂತಿ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂಸಾಗೃಜಾತೈತಂಸಾವೃತೂತಂಪರಿಜನಾಧಾಕಾಂವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ಋಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯೇ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಪತೀತೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭೋ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಶಿವಾಸಾತಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮದೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮೀ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಮೂಪಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗಂ ಲಂಘಯತೆ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾ ತಮ್ಮ ವಂದೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೋ ದೀನತಾರಣ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಶ್ವರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ all glories to lord chaitanya all glories to lord nitananda all glories to advaita chandra and all glories to all the devotees of lord chaitanya hari hari so we were in chapter 6 the liberation of sarvabhama bhattacharya and we were into the discussion which was happening between lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and sarvabhama bhattacharya we saw how sarvabhama bhattacharya gave some explanations and mahaprabhu was becoming a little heavy and he was telling as what is right and what is wrong and what are the flaws in the explanations given by sarvabhama bhattacharya mahaprabhu was discussing about mayavad and about how such philosophies are actually very very detrimental to our spiritual progress so let's begin uh, we were in the section verse number 118 to 215 lord chaitanya converts sarvabhama into a vaishnava ಜೀವಿರ ನಿಸ್ತಾರ ಲಾಗಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಕೈಲ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಮಾಯವಾದಿ ಭಾಷೆ ಸರ್ವನಾಶ ಶಿಲ ವ್ಯಾಸ ದೇವ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ದಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಡೆಲಿವರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪಾಯಿಲ್ಡ್ so this verse is being spoken by lord chaitanya so lord chaitanya is saying that the purpose of presenting vedanta philosophy by shila vyasa dev was only one that the living entities in the material world are delivered they are able to 
escape this uh, material world, the cycle of birth and death and go back to the spiritual world in the service of the Lord. But this objective of Srila Vyasadeva, as he tried to present in Vedanta philosophy, is spoiled. If one hears the commentary by Srila, by Shankaracharya. So why is there pro so much problem with the commentary of Shankaracharya? So number one, uh, that commentary portrays that Lord's transcendental form. Now Lord has non-material form. He has a transcendental spiritual form which is beyond Satvagun, Rajagun and Tamagun. His, uh, the Lord's body and his senses are not like our body or our senses. So his transcendental form is denied by Shankaracharya in his commentary. And then uh, second thing which uh, the uh, commentary says is that the Jiva or the living entity is same as God, is identical with God. So that is second thing which, uh, you know, that is why we must not listen to the or hear this Mayavad philosophy. And then uh, the understanding of these Tattvas of the Lord of the living entity of this material world it is actually opposite, it is opposed to the principles of devotional service. In fact, they propagate or they promote that one should merge with the Brahma Jyoti, which means annihilation of individual uh, existence. That is what is proposed. But Bhakti Yoga means that individual exists, the Lord exists and the relationship is of love and service. So, uh, if one practices devotional service, then there is no annihilation of individuality. In fact, it is perfection of individuality it is and the person attains immortality. So, that is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying that if one hears the commentary of Shankaracharya, then everything, all uh, progress in spiritual life is spoiled. Parinam Vada Vyasa Sutra Rasamata Achintya Shakti Ishwar Jagad Rupe Parinata The Vedanta Sutra aims at establishing that the cosmic manifestation have, has come into being by the transformation of the inconceivable potency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Vedanta Sutra is uh, telling, it is categorically stating that this whole cosmic manifestation or this material world what we see, actually it is done from the energy of the Supreme Lord, but that energy has transformed. So it is not that this is separate from the Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord remains as he is and his energies actually manifest and creates this whole universe. So Lord himself does not change. He does not change himself. It is not that the Lord has become material universe. So Lord certain energies actually make the universe that is stated in Vedanta Sutra. Mani aiche avikrite prasabhe mamhara Jagat rupa haya ishwar tabu avikara So here the um, Lord Chaitanya is giving an example or an analogy with which to understand this principle that Lord remains as it is His energies they transform and they manifest the universe. So this is the reality and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving an analogy for us to understand and for Sarbhuvamar Bhattachari to understand. The touchstone, money. The touchstone after touching iron produces volumes of gold without being changed. So the analogy is that the scriptures explain that there is a very special stone. It's a material stone, but it's a special stone called touchstone or money. Hindi called paras money. Paras money, yes. Paras money. So that money has the potency that if it touches any iron object, it converts iron into gold. But what is mentioned here is it does not change. So the paras money remains as it is. So if it touches iron, the iron becomes gold, but the paras money remains as it is. The money, the touchstone remains as it is. Similarly, the Supreme Personality of Godhead manifests himself as a cosmic manifestation by his inconceivable potencies. Yet, he remains unchanged in his eternal transcendental form. So, the Lord remains as he is, as it is in his spiritual transcendental form. And his energies, they transform and manifest this material universe. So this is a very important principle. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is explaining to Sarbhama Bhattacharya. Because Sarbhama Bhattacharya is influenced 
by Shankaracharya's commentary on Vedanta Sutra, he has a different understanding and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is explaining the mistake that is there in that particular interpretation. Vyasa Brahmta Bali Se Sutra Dosha Diya Vivarta Vad Stapiya Che Kalpana Kariya Shankaracharya states that the theory of transformation presented in the Vedanta Sutra implies that the absolute truth itself is transformed. In this way, the Mayavadi philosophers denigrate Srila Vyasadev by accusing him of error. They thus find fault in the Vedanta Sutra and misinterpret it to try to establish the theory of illusion. So now here Shankaracharya, I mean we have to understand it in very very simple terms so that we are clear once and for all. So the Vedanta Sutra as we read in previous two verses, in one verse uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stated the principle and then the next verse Mahaprabhu actually gave the example of that stone to explain that and he is saying that Lord and his energy. Lord remains as it is, his energy actually goes and creates the cosmic manifestation. So it is not that Lord when he comes to material world, he becomes material. He does not become material. He maintains his spiritual form. Just like how touchstone when it touches iron, touchstone does not become iron. Touchstone does not leave its quality also. Touchstone remains as it is, irrespective of whatever number of iron it touches. So similarly, uh, Supreme Lord, no matter how many innumerable material universes comes out of him, but then he remains in his absolute transcendental form. So this is the reality. This is what Vedanta Sutra states. But here it is mentioned that Shankaracharya, now he proposes this theory of transformation or illusion. He creates an illusion by stating, what is he stating? He is saying that, there is a problem with the theory of Vyasadeva and the Supreme Lord himself gets transformed when he comes to the material world. So he loses his transcendental form and he acquires material mundane qualities. That is what Mayavadi philosophy is. The theory of illusion can be applied only when the living entity identifies himself with the body. Jivera de Atma Buddhi Sei Mithyahaya. So definitely illusion exists, but what is that illusion? The illusion is when the living entity thinks I am the body. That is an illusion because the living entity is not the body, it is spirit, soul, part and parcel of the Lord. Jagatiya Mithya Nahe Nashwar Matra hai. As far as the cosmic manifestation is concerned, it cannot be called false. Jagat ye mithya nahe. This material world is not an illusion. Nashar matra. It is only temporary. So this material world is created by Lord's energy. It is maintained by the potencies of the Lord. And it is annihilated by the Lord. So Lord existed before creation. Lord exists during creation. And Lord exists after the annihilation as well. The transcendental vibration Omkar. So here Pranav, Pranav word is used. Pranav actually refers to Omkar, the sound of Om. So it says that the transcendental vibration Omkar is the sound form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. All Vedic knowledge and this cosmic manifestation are produced from the sound representation of the Supreme Lord. So the source of all Vedic knowledge from how it all begins or from how it ca came into existence is that word Omkar. This is the principal vibration Omkar. The subsidiary vibration Tat Tvam Asi, you are the same, is meant for the understanding of the living entity, but the principal vibration is Omkar. Not caring for Omkar, Shankaracharya has stressed the vibration Tat Tvam Asi. So here Lord Chaitanya is expressing, he, in the previous verse he explained that 
the Vedanta or the Vedas, uh, in Vedas it is proclaimed that Pranav or Omkar is the principal vibration or that is the main and Tat Tvam Asi is secondary. So Omkar which is primary refers to the Lord and it's a holy name of the Lord and from that manifests Everything in the material world from it manifests, from Omkar manifests the Vedas and from Omkar manifests the material world. But Shankaracharya has not given it that importance. What To whom, to what he has given importance? He has given importance to Tattvam Asi over Omkar. So whereas Tattvam Asi is a secondary vibration, but Shankaracharya has given it more importance than Omkar. So here Jatana Mahaprabhu is explaining to uh, Sarbhavan Bhattacharya the mistakes or the error in the interpretation of Vedanta Sutra of the Sharirika Bhashya. So here Tattva Masi actually refers, it is a warning to the living entities that actually you are not this body, you are also insignificant, minuscule spirit particle. So you should not consider yourself as matter but you should understand that you are not this body you are spirit so so that is what is the meaning of tat tvam asi not that you are the supreme lord so using uh, this statement uh, the mayavadis explain that the living entity is god yeah i mean the point that you are the same so you are the same here refers to you are the same spiritual particle you are that spirit soul so that is what it refers to you are the same but what they give interpretation is you are the same as in you are the same lord so jiva and the lord they are always always different we have studied in detail in bhagavad gita as how jiva is always different from the uh, supreme lord supreme lord is the whole and we are the part and parcel we are a tiny little spark of that whole so qualitatively they are same but quantitatively there is a huge difference so one they think they have they are talking about om to be less important and they are giving more importance or more stress that each and every one is a supreme lord in itself so that is actually mayavad philosophy <laughs> Thus, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu criticized Shankaracharya's Sharirat Bhashya as imaginary and he pointed out hundreds of faults in it. To defend Shankaracharya, however, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya presented unlimited opposition. So now, see, we have to understand that Sarvabhama Bhattacharya was not some new, uh, novice devotee. He was not a very new young boy. He was very, very, very well read in scriptures. So, the only problem was that the scriptures he has well read but he has misinterpreted. He did not know the proper purport of the scripture but he knows everything according to him. So here there was this intense debate going on between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarvabhama Bhattacharya and the subject matter of discussion was Sharirak Bhashya or the uh, philosophy which is proposed by Sripad Shankaracharya and there is lot of front and back discussion going on and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who can defeat him he is the supreme lord himself everything emanates from him and out of his compassion he was here patiently discussing with Sarvabhama Bhattacharya because he wanted to help Sarvabhama Bhattacharya and through Sarvabhama Bhattacharya he is actually trying to help all of us so when we are reading this, when we are discussing this particular portion, we may feel that, oh, it is becoming so heavy. It is philosophy. Like last time we were reading your uh, points, your notes of the session, what you have mentioned. Many, many of you have mentioned that it was difficult. Some of you also mentioned that you actually went through Prabhupada's purport and it was helpful for you to understand. So, yes, it is difficult. But then we need to understand this because this is the foundation. If we keep thinking, if we continue to think that, yeah, Lord and I am the same. I will also become the Lord. Or Lord, when he comes to the material world, he becomes like one of us. Or he also has a material body like how our body is. And like our body ages and our body produces so many toxic elements and our body ultimately dies. Same happens with the Supreme Lord. So all these things, if we believe at, even not at a like surface level, but much deeper at somewhere, at some 
corner of our heart if we believe in such philosophy then what will happen the first verse which we read today maya vad bhashe shunile hai sarvanash so everything would be spoiled everything would be destroyed and that is why chaitanya mahaprabhu is making an effort to explain these things and that is why we are also making so much of effort otherwise we would have easily skipped this section because such beautiful uh, sweet pastime sections were going on one after the other we were listening to these stories till this point we could have just continued like that but then this is very very important the whole problem is that sarvabhauma acharya is influenced uh, by shankara acharya's commentary sharirika bhashya and chaitanya mahaprabhu is trying to rescue him from that uh, misunderstanding of the vedas vitanda chala nigrahati aneka uthaila sava khandi prabhu nija mata se sthapila the bhattacharya presented various types of false arguments vitanda chala nigrahadi with pseudo logic and try to defeat his opponent in many ways so sir bhattacharya it was such a scholar one he knew the so many scriptures and he was very intelligent so he could use you know arguments upon arguments proper logic or false logic but he was trying his best to defeat chaitanya mahaprabhu his opponent in many ways however shri chaitanya mahaprabhu refuted all these arguments and established his own conviction so here uh, the word vitanda is used so vitanda indicates that's a debater no when there are two people are debating so one debater he is not touching on the main point the only purpose of that person's debating is that somehow or other i should defeat the other person so he is not actually addressing the main subject the topic of the debate but he is just trying to cut the argument of the other so like that or chala chal means that you know he is trying to give some uh, he is trying to misinterpret the uh, statements of the scriptures so giving some misinterpretation so like that by so if i were to use by hook or by crook you know so sir bhagwan tachari is using all at his everything at his disposal to defeat chaitanya mahaprabhu but who can defeat the supreme lord chaitanya mahaprabhu refuted these arguments and he established the proper conclusions bhagwan sambandha bhakti abideya haya prema prayojana vede tina vastu kaya so if we remember the adi leela there we discussed at the very beginning of chaitanya charitamrit we discussed these three things what is mentioned here sambandh abhideya and prayojan the three subject matter of scriptures so this we have discussed there and now chaitanya mahaprabhu is talking about that to sarvabhauma bhattacharya when he says the supreme personality of godhead is a central point of all relationships acting in devotional service to him is one's real occupation and the attainment of love of godhead is the ultimate goal of life these three subject matters are discussed in the vedic literature so if you remember in the very first chapter of adi leela we discussed the the uh, the deities who represent sambandh abhideya and prayojan so sambandh defines the relationship as what is my relationship with the supreme lord abhideya and prayojan how do i attain what is the process and what is the ultimate goal so these are the three things which is actually the crux of the vedic literature aaraye ki chukahe sakale kalpana swatah pramana veta vakya kalpena lakshana if one tries to explain the vedic literature in a different way like shankaracharya has done he is indulging in imagination any interpretation of the self evident vedic version is simply imaginary so one thing we need to understand that all vedic literatures are self evident if we um, you know read the direct translations so it makes it directly gives explains what it is you know there's no need to interpret and in the process of interpreting we uh, you know uh, we may misinterpret so here that's what lord chaitanya is saying that actually no one is allowed to interpret vedic literature like that what is being stated directly we need to understand so if one tries to explain vedic literature in a different way then it is purely imagination of that person 
आचार्य दोष नाही ईश्वर आज्ञा हायला आतैव कल्पना करी नास्तिक शास्त्र कैला Actually, there is no part, fault in, on the part of Shankaracharya. He simply carried out the order of the supreme personality of Godhead. He had to imagine some kind of interpretation, and therefore he presented a kind of Vedic literature that is full of atheism. Now we may start thinking, what is this thing? What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is talking about? So now, though first he has told that what all problems are there in the philosophy which Chaitanya, uh, which Shankaracharya has given. But now Mahaprabhu is telling that actually there is no mistake. Actually, Shankaracharya is not done any mistake. He is carrying out the order. So he is presenting this philosophy, which is the philosophy of illusion, which is creating so much of confusion, which is giving some mundane interpretation to the Vedic literature. Now to create this philosophy, actually he was ordered by Supreme Lord Himself. स्वगमय कल्पितुखान कुरु मोपयोत्तरा सो दिस वर्स दीज टू वर्स इज दिस वर्स एंड द नेक्स्ट वर्स आर कोटेड फ्रॉम पद्म पुराण सो हियर सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इज एड्रेसिंग लॉर्ड शिवा प्लीज मेक द जनरल पॉपुलेस एवर्स टू मी by imagining your own interpretation of the vedas also cover me in such a way that people will make people will take more interest in advancing material civilization just to propagate a population bereft of spiritual knowledge so here the supreme lord is uh, giving agya or an instruction to lord shiva that you interpret the vedic knowledge in a way that general people become averse to me so now this has happened in the you know towards the beginning of kali yuga and what else he is requesting or he is instructing lord shiva to do that you cover me with your philosophy with your misinterpretation of the vedic knowledge you cover me or cover the supreme lord in a way that people take more interest in material civilization and uh, and they are not really be interested in spiritual life so this is the instruction that lord gave to lord shiva mayavadam na satchastram prachanam baudham uchyate mayai va vihitam devi kalau brahmana murtina so the instruction continues lord shiva informed goddess durga the superintendent of the material world in the age of kali i take the form of brahmana and explain the vedas through false scriptures in an atheistic way similar to buddhist philosophy so now this is also from padma puran where lord shiva is telling that how in order to fulfill the desire of lord vishnu he would appear as a brahmana known as shankaracharya so he comes as shankaracharya to give an atheistic interpretation to the vedas and all this is happening on the uh, on the order of the supreme lord himself shuni bhattacharya hoila parama vismita mukhe nani sare vani hoila stambita sir bhama bhattacharya became very much astonished upon hearing this he became stunned said nothing so this is very surprising that although sir bhambar dacharya was very well very learned but it is the lord that you know a lord is presenting different aspects of the scriptures that even a learned person you know um, had not gone through them or was not aware of such uh, scriptural statements so this really took sarvam bhattacharya by so much of surprise and astonishment he could not say anything when such statements are being spoken that upon the instruction of the lord shankaracharya wrote a commentary which was atheistic which was to turn away the people from general masses of people away from the supreme lord and then the population can become very materialistic and to that philosophy shankara uh, sarvam bhattacharya had subscribed to and uh, so now he had nothing to say you know he was completely you can probably explain the why this instruction was given he was completely convinced by lord chaitanya so now what had happened we we see uh, the history we see that buddhism uh, 
actually even before that we they were uh, people who were following vedic uh, scriptures but what had happened is that the purpose as we saw chaitanya mahaprabhu saying that the purpose of vedas is only three things to understand our sambandha with the lord the relationship between the living entity and the supreme lord to under to realize that relationship we have to perform devotional service of bhakti and the end result is to develop love for god so these are the three subject matters of vedas but people in general in because of deterioration of the age of kali they had forgotten that purpose and they were more engaged in performing vedic sacrifice and some vedic sacrifice include annual kali so vedas became more as a means of killing the animals and enjoying so that had to be stopped so uh, lord buddha came and then he asked people to completely reject vedas so vedas were rejected so that's how somehow the other people stopped killing the animals because the vedic sacrifices were stopped but we also understand that vedas are the original body of knowledge coming from the supreme lord so of course although there was temporarily this stop was brought in but the authority of the vedas had to be reestablished so shankaracharya's um, uh, shiva shankaracharya's um, uh, role was very crucial so people had rejected the vedas and shankaracharya had to come and reestablish the authority of the vedas so he did that he uh, did reestablish the principles and the authority of vedas but he presented a philosophy which is very similar to uh, buddhism and after that if you notice then the vaishnava acharyas appeared and because the vedic authority was established so uh, the vaishnava acharyas came and reestablished the vedic uh, Va- vaishnavic principles प्रभु कहे भट्टाचार्य न कर स्मया भगवान भक्ति परम पुरुषार्थ हया लॉर्ड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु देन टोल्ड हिम डू नॉट बी एस्टॉनिश्ड एक्चुअली डिवोशनल सर्विस अनटू द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इज द हाईएस्ट परफेक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्टिविटी सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज रीइटरेटिंग दैट पॉइंट आत्मराम पर्यंत करे ईश्वर भजना आई जे अचिंत्या भगवान निरगुण गणा इवन द सेल्फ सैटिस्फाइड सेजेस परफॉर्म डिवोशनल सर्विस टू द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सच आर द ट्रांसेंडेंटल क्वालिटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड दे आर फुल ऑफ इनकंसीवेबल स्पिरिचुअल पोटेंसीज सो हियर इट इज इट इज मेंशन दैट इवन आत्मराम atma ram means who are self satisfied so even such self satisfied sages what do they do even they perform devotional service to the supreme lord par paryatna paryanta kare ishvara bhajan so even one who has realized i am not this body who has realized that i am spirit soul even such exalted personalities they engage in ishwara bhajan they engage in devotional service of the supreme lord why and how is it possible because of the wonderful guna and guna gan of the wonderful uh, transcendental qualities of the supreme lord which have inconceivable potency so they are so much attracted by the qualities and the pastimes of the lord that they perform devotional service to the lord मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्स इज दो आर सेल्फ सैटिस्फाइड एंड अन अट्रैक्टेड बाई एक्सटर्नल मटीरियल डिजायर्स आर ऑल्सो अट्रैक्टेड टू द लविंग सर्विस ऑफ श्री कृष्णा whose qualities are transcendental and whose activities are wonderful hari the personality of god had is called krishna because he has such transcendentally attractive features so now this particular verse is very important and very interesting it is talking about atma ram so in the previous verse chaitanya mahaprabhu gave reference to atma ram and here he is quoting this exact verse which is also known as atma ram verse so atma ram now these people are not only self realized but they are self satisfied 
See, Rama means one who gives pleasure. So these people are completely satisfied. They have everything. It is not that they have just realized that they are different. Uh, I mean, they are the Atma, but they are completely happy or satisfied in that position. And as a result, they are unattracted to anything material or mundane. They don't have any material desire. So such are the people who have understood that, the, yes, they are not the body. They are the spirit soul and that the perfection of the life is attained by devotional service and they are happily busy in performing devotional service and it is mentioned that they are attracted to Shri Krishna so they are not attracted to any material thing their senses are completely under control and yet they are attracted to the supreme Lord Krishna why because he is transcendental and his activities are wonderful so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has quoted this verse here Shuni Bhattacharya kahe Shuna Mahashaya Ehi Shloke Ratha Shuni Te Vanchahaya After hearing the Atma Ram verse, Sar Bhama Bhattacharya addressed Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, My dear sir, please explain this verse. I have a great desire to hear your explanation of it. So Sar Bhama Bhattacharya is asking Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, please explain this verse to me. प्रभु कहे तुम्ही की अर्थ करता आगे शूनी पाचे आमी करे वर्ता ये वर्ति चु जानी The Lord said, first let me hear your explanation. After that I shall try to explain what little I know. So just like how Vedanta Sutras first Mahaprabhu heard from Sarvabhama Bhattacharya and then he gave his explanation. So for this verse also when Sarvabhama made a request, he is saying first you explain and then I will explain. Shuni Bhattacharya Shloka Karina Vyakyana Tarka Shastra Mata Uthai Vivida Vidhana Sar Bhama Bhattacharya then began to explain the Atma Ram verse and according to the principles of logic, he put forward various propositions. So we all know that he was a great scholar and accordingly he presented many meanings, many proposed meanings of the word of that verse. Navavidha artha kaila shastra mata lana shuni prabhu kahe ke chu ishat hasiya. The Bhattacharya explained the Atma Ram verse in nine different ways on the basis of scriptures. After hearing his explanation, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu smiling a little began to speak. So now this Atma Rama verse, uh, he explained in nine different ways. That is the beauty of this complex Sanskrit language that with few lines so much can be revealed. So Bhattacharya gave nine different meaning. Now this Atma Ram verse was actually as I was telling that it is from Srimad Bhagavatam and it was discussed at Nami Sharanya when there were so many sages who had gathered and there was Shonak Rishi was there and they were discussing about Shukadev Goswami and they were discussing that Shukadev Goswami who is actually an Atma Ram who is at Paramhamsa stage who has perfected his life. So how did he got attracted to the discussion of qualities of Krishna? So from there, because Shukadev Goswami's case that has happened that he was completely perfect and yet he got this desire to hear more about the qualities of Lord Krishna. So they were discussing this and that is how this Atma Ram verse came. Bhattacharya jani tumi sakshat dhaspati Shastra vyakya kari tai che karo nahi shakti Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, My dear Bhattacharya, you are exactly like Brahaspati, the priest of the heavenly kingdom. Indeed, no one within this world has the power to explain the scriptures in such a way. So Lord here is revealing that actually Sarva Bhama Bhattacharya is the incarnation of Brahaspati, the priest of the heavenly kingdom. And Lord is saying that the way you explain the scriptures, nobody in this world has that ability or capability. My dear Bhattacharya, you have certainly explained this verse by the prowess of your vast learning. But you should know that besides this scholarly explanation, there is another purport to this verse. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, first he is appreciating Sarvabhama Bhattacharya because he is a wonderful scholar. 
and also chaitanya mahaprabhu is appreciating to teach us also as an what is the technique to give feedback so if some feedback has to be given first the positive things or whatever has happened has to be brought up so chaitanya mahaprabhu like an expert teacher first he sort of encourages his student and he says that yes you have done well but here are your shortcomings so he says that you have explained it in a very scholarly manner but there is another way or another purport to the same verse bhattacharya prarthana te prabhu vyakhya kaila tanra nava artha madhye ekana chunila upon the request of sir bama bhattacharya lord chaitanya mahaprabhu began to explain the verse without touching upon the nine explanations given by the bhattacharya so of course chaitanya mahaprabhu supreme lord himself and his knowledge is infinite and at the same time we also knew that chaitanya mahaprabhu was a celebrated scholar in back in navdeep you know and everybody all the and navdeep was a seat of learning and all the great scholars of navdeep appreciated and understood that you know chaitanya mahaprabhu was undefeated there so chaitanya mahaprabhu began to explain this verse and he did not even refer to those nine explanations that bhattacharya had given महाप्रभु एक्सप्लेन ईच वर्ड वन आफ्टर दी अदर सो देर आर इलेवन वर्सेज विच आर मेन्शन डियर आत्म राम च मुनिया निरग्रंथा अभी उरुक्रमे कुरवंती अहै तुख्यम bhaktim itham bhut guna and harihi so these verses so first each and every word chaitanya mahaprabhu explained tat tat pat pradhanye atma ramilana ashta darsha artha kaila abhiprayalana lord chaitanya mahaprabhu took each word specifically and combined it with the word atma ram he thus explained the word atma ram in 18 different ways so then chaitanya mahaprabhu took each of these words 11 words he combined it with atma ram and then he gave 18 different meanings of the word atma ram alone bhagavan tanra shakti tanra guna gana achintya prabhava tindre nayaya kathana Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "The supreme personality of Godhead, His different potencies, and His transcendental qualities are all have inconceivable prowess. It is not possible to explain them fully." So here, um, what is explained is that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu concluded that when we talk about the supreme Lord, when we talk about His shaktis or energies. and we talk about his qualities each of these are have achintya prabhav or inconceivable powers inconceivable prowess so it is not possible to explain them fully so after so much explanation this is how chaitanya mahaprabhu is including anya yat sadhya sadhana kari achhadana भगवान सुप्रीम लॉर्ड द शक्ति ऑफ द लॉर्ड और द पोटेंसी एंड द गुणा और द क्वालिटी ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सो दीज थ्री थिंग्स एक्चुअली attract any spiritual practitioner's mind so whether the student or the practitioner is following the process of karma yoga or gyan yoga or ashtang yoga his qualities attract the mind because krishna is all attractive sanakadi shukha deva taha te pramana e mat nana artha karena vyakhyana Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained the meaning of the words by giving evidence concerning Shukadev Goswami and the four rishis Sanak, Sanat Kumar, Sanatan, and Sananda. Thus, the Lord gave various meanings and explanations. So here, Lord is giving evidence that how, as in the previous uh, three things, the Lord, the uh, His shaktis and the qualities are 
inconceivable prowess is there cannot be explained fully and therefore if a sincere student is there who is attracted so they uh, you know they are attracted towards the supreme lord and lord gave ex two examples shukde goswami now shukde goswami was a liberated soul sanak sanatan sanat kumar sanatan and sananda were also liberated souls but when they came in touch with the lord when they heard about the lord's glories and uh, they heard about the inconceivable potencies of the lord they became devotees so from being a brahmavadi from being uh, aspiring for the brahma jyoti they became bhaktas worshiping and serving the supreme lord tunni bhatya charya mane hai na tamatkar प्रभु के कृष्ण जानी करे अपन अधिकार अपॉन हियरिंग चैतन्य महाप्रभु एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दी आत्मा राम वर सर्व भामा भट्टाचार्य वॉज स्टक विथ वंडर हाईला चमत्कार सो ही वॉज कंप्लीटली एस्टॉनिश he then understood lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu to be krishna in person and he thus condemned himself in the following words so now he has come to this absolute realization that chaitanya mahaprabhu is non different from supreme lord krishna i mean such expert explanation what chaitanya mahaprabhu gave as we heard that 18 different explanation without touching those nine explanation what sarvabhama bhatacharya had given and everything on proper authority and explanation so he is now convinced sarvabhama bhatacharya is now convinced the chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna himself and now he is condemning himself apana dhikkar now he is thinking you know i have really uh, not done the right thing iho ta sakshat krishna muni na janiya mahaparad kainu gravita aiya chaitanya mahaprabhu certainly lord krishna himself because i could not understand him and was very proud of my own learning i have committed many offenses so this was the reason why sir bhambatacharya was condemning himself was uh, feeling so bad about himself that i did not understand that chaitanya mahaprabhu supreme lord himself i i was so proud of my learning that i committed so many offenses against the lord शेल्टर महाप्रभु डस निज रूप प्रभु तांगे करायला दशना चतुर्भुज रूप प्रभु आईला तक्षणा टू शो हिम मर्सी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु अलाउड सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य टू सी हिज विष्णु फॉर्म दस ही इमीडिएटली अज्यूम्ड फोर हैंड्स सो नाउ चैतन्य महाप्रभु कंपैशन वॉज देयर सो मच फॉर सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य स्पेशली बिकॉज सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य एक्सेप्टेड chaitanya mahaprabhu supreme lord that he showed sarvabhama tacharya his four handed vishnu form chaturbhuj roopa prabhu aila takana dekha aila tanre age chaturbhuj roopa paache shama vamshi mukha swakiya swarupa shri chaitanya mahaprabhu first showed him the four handed form and then appeared before him in his original form of krishna with a blackish complexion and a flute to his lips so can we i mean of course we cannot even wonder like how sir bhama bhatacharya would be feeling that chaitanya mahaprabhu with whom like an hour back he was thinking oh this is a young boy a, Brahm, uh, a sanyasi and i should give him some knowledge of vedanta otherwise what would happen to him and how he would protect his sanyas ashram and now that same sanyasi suddenly first he shows him the 400 vishnu form and then he is showing the original shyam sundar krishna's form 200 form with a blackish complexion one hour back one seven days back no seven days back it started but till all the seven days he was thinking the same thing till the time chaitanya mahaprabhu started speaking 
देखी सर्व खरी पड़ी पूना उड़ी स्तुति करे दुई कर उड़ी वेन सर्व भट्टाचार्य सो द फॉर्म ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण मैनिफेस्टेड इन चैतन्य महाप्रभु ही इमीडिएटली फेल डाउन फ्लैट टू ऑफर हिम ओबेसेंसेस सो सर्व भट्टाचार्य हैड दर्शन ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण विद प्लेइंग ऑन हिज फ्लोट एंड ही ऑफर्ड हिज हंबल ओबेसेंसेस देन ही स्टूड अप एंड विद फोल्डेड हैंड्स बिगन टू ऑफर प्रेयर्स प्रभु बाय द मर्सी ऑफ द लॉर्ड ऑल ट्रूथ्स वर रिवील्ड टू सर्वभाम भट्टाचार्य एंड ही कुड अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ टू थिंग्स द फर्स्ट वन चैंटिंग द होली नेम एंड सेकंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग लव ऑफ गॉड हेड एवरीवेयर सो ही अंडरस्टूड that what is the significance what is the impa- importance of chanting hare krishna hare krishna krishna krishna, 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 krishna hare 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 rama hare rama rama rama, 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 rama hare hare so one is chanting and second is distributing love of god head everywhere which means forwarding this knowledge everywhere whatever we are receiving we are sharing the knowledge with everyone else शतश्लोक कैल एक दंड नयाईते बृहस्पति तचे श्लोक न पारे करीते सो दैट इज अ टाइम व्हेन सब हम भट्टाचार्य कंपाइल्ड और स्पोक शुशलोक शतक सर्व सर्व हम भट्टाचार्य कंपोस्ड 100 वर्सेस इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम इंडीड नॉट इवन बृहस्पति द प्रीस्ट ऑफ द हेवनली प्लैनेट्स could compose verses as quickly so in the glorification of the lord sir bhav bhattacharya offered this prayer compiling comprising of 100 verses shuni sukhe prabhu tanre kailalingana bhattacharya prema veshe hoila achetana after hearing the 100 verses shri chaitanya mahaprabhu happily embraced sarvabhama bhattacharya who was immediately overwhelmed in ecstatic love of god had and fell unconscious ashru stamba pulak sweda kampatara hari nache gaye kande pade prabhu padadari out of ecstatic love of god the bhattacharya shed tears and his body was stunned he exhibited an ecstatic mood and he perspired shook and trembled he sometimes danced sometimes chanted sometimes cried and sometimes fell down to touch the lotus feet of the lord so this verse explains the sarv bhama bhattacharya's ecstasy upon having such amazing wondrous darshan of the lord and being uh, embraced by the lord and by receiving in full the mercy of lord chaitanya and realizing that he is the supreme lord देखी गोपीनाथ चार्य हर्षित माने भट्टाचार्य नित्य देखी हासे प्रभु गणा वाइल सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य वाज इन दिस एक्सटेसी गोपीनाथ आचार्य वाज वेरी प्लीज्ड द एसोसिएट्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु ऑल लाफ्ड टू सी द भट्टाचार्य डांस सो इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी सॉ दैट हाउ गोपीनाथ आचार्य एंड मुकुंद दत्ता दे वर वेरी सैड बिकॉज़ सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य वाज आर्ग्यूइंग विद देम and he was telling that chaitanya mahaprabhu is not the supreme lord so now here when they see this they are very very happy gopinath acharya kahe mahaprabhu prati sei bhattacharya prabhu kailai gati gopinath acharya told lord chaitanya mahaprabhu sir you have brought all this upon sarvabhama bhattacharya प्रभु कहे तुम्ही भक्त तुम संग हैते जगन्नाथ ही आरे कृपा कैला भाल मते श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु रिप्लाई यू आर अ डिवोटी बिकॉज ऑफ योर एसोसिएशन लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ हैज शोन हिम मर्सी सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ हिम ही सेइंग इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ यू गोपीनाथ आचार्य बिकॉज यू आर अ डिवोटी एंड बिकॉज यू रिक्वेस्टेड सो जगन्नाथ हैज शोन हिम मर्सी तबे भट्टाचार्य प्रभु सुस्थिर करिला स्थिर हाना भट्टाचार्य प्रभु स्तुति कैला आफ्टर दिस श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु पैसिफाइड भट्टाचार्य एंड व्हेन ही वाज क्वाइटेड ही ऑफर्ड मेनी प्रेयर्स टू द लॉर्ड 
जगत निस्तारी ले तुमी से हर बकारिया आमा उदारी ले तुमी ये शक्ति आश्चर्य सर भावा भट्टाचार्य सेट माय डियर सर यू हैव डिलीवर्ड दी एंटायर वर्ल्ड बट दैट इज नॉट अ वेरी ग्रेट टास्क However, you have also delivered me, and that is certainly the work of very wonderful powers. So here, Sarvam Vatacharya is making a very important, significant point that you have delivered the entire world, but that is nothing. That is not such a big thing. But you delivered me. That is very, very amazing, and that's a very wonderful thing. And we will see in the next uh, uh, next verse why is it so. तर्क शास्त्र जड़ आमी यायचे लावा पिंडा आमा द्राव इले तुमी प्रताप प्रचंडा I had become dull headed जड़ जड़ is dull headed so I had become dull headed by तर्क शास्त्र reading too many books on logic so I have been reading so many books on logic और तर्क शास्त्र that I have become जड़ बुद्धि I have become dull headed Consequently, I had become like an iron bar. Love her pinda. I have become like an iron bar. Nonetheless, you have melted me, and therefore your influence is very great. So, if a person who has not read so much and who is not very learned, and if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu shows his mercy and he gets converted, it is easy. I mean, that's what Sir Bhama Bhattacharya is saying. But he is telling that because of my reading, I have become so proud. Like in the previous one of the verses, he was telling that I had so much of Pride, Garvitam Jani. He was telling that because of that he has committed so many offences. So such a mentality, and yet you could convert me. So that is very, very wonderful. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So uh, with this, we will stop the uh, session here. and very soon there is a good news very soon we are coming up with devotion and action the diya the details of which we would be sharing over the weekend and we would like all of you to enroll for that course the details would be sharing shortly that would be very helpful in teaching or in learning the practical aspects of devotional service how can we meet the day to day challenges how can i conquer my mind my thought my uh, anger all such things whatever anarthas or unwanted things are there in me how can i overcome that and dedicate myself to the supreme lord so this is basically the crux of that course so we'll be sharing the details there and we're looking forward to join you for that course as well thank you hare krishna hare krishna chaitanya charitamrit ki jai shri prabhupad ki jai nitai gaur premanande hari hari bol